summer officially arrived on Monday around 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This day, known as the summer solstice, can occur on June 20th, the 21st, and even occasionally the 22nd, though over the next few decades it'll be split about evenly between just June 20th and June 21st. Now on the summer solstice, the Earth is at a time in its orbit when the direct rays of the sun are as far north as they ever get, 23 and a half degrees north of the equator at the so-called Tropic of Cancer. At that latitude, the midday sun is right overhead on the first day of summer, and north of there, it's as far above the horizon as it ever gets. Now in terms of latitude, nearly all of Pennsylvania sits between about 39.7 degrees on the south, the Mason-Dixon line, and 42 degrees on the north. So the state is between about 16 and 18 and a half degrees north of the Tropic of Cancer. So the closest the sun ever gets to being right overhead is between about 16 and 18 and a half degrees from the vertical, depending on where you live in the state. Now in southern tier counties, places such as Myersdale, Gettysburg, or maybe Downingtown, the midday sun got about 74 degrees above the horizon on Monday, while along the northern border, places such as Warren, Cowdersport, or maybe Mansfield, it was more like 71 and a half degrees. The word solstice comes from Latin and translates to sun standing still. To see how this applies, we need to track the angle of the midday sun above the horizon over the course of a year. And here I've done that for State College, which is more or less on the middle latitude line that stretches across the state. Notice that, that in the days around the summer solstice, there's really not much change in the angle of the midday sun. The difference between, say, June 1st and June 20th is only about one degree, a difference you really wouldn't notice. And this kind of lends the impression that the midday sun is standing still in the sky at this time of year. The story is a lot different around the equinoxes. Look near the first day of spring in March. The angle of the midday sun is changing much faster from day to day. For example, the sun's about eight degrees lower in the sky at midday on March 1st than on March 20th, a difference you could definitely notice. A more down-to-earth way to track these seasonal changes is by using the length of your midday shadow. And let's do this in central Pennsylvania. I'll start on the summer solstice when the sun is a little bit more than 70 degrees above the horizon. If your height is six feet, your shadow will be a little less than two feet long, the shortest of any time of the year. And the ratio of your shadow length to your height is about one to three. Now let's do this for the winter solstice when the midday sun is only about 26 degrees above the horizon. Then your shadow will be more than 12 feet long and the ratio of shadow length to height is about two to one, a huge difference from the summer solstice. One consequence of the sun's high angle this time of year is long daylights. And indeed, many places in Pennsylvania have more than 15 hours of daylight right now. How much of that will be sunny this weekend? Find out in the extended forecast next.